Hey, good morning, Pete, North Las Vegas. Um, first part of the video, we're going to be talking about the uh, brake light circuit for Dakota Digital. Now you can see this tan wire down here, and you can see where it's marked brake, and it says minus. So that's going to be a ground. So we have to supply a ground on this connection here to get a brake light to come on on the uh, instrumentation cluster of the Dakota Digital. So one of the things I wanted to do was get a brake light in case I um, left the emergency or parking brake on, but I also wanted to get a, um, a brake light indicator if my brakes had failed. So I was um, looking at a way to piggyback that ground in off the brake proportioning uh, valve and the emergency or parking brake switch. So I'll show you uh, the proportioning valve real quick. Okay, so here's the proportioning valve and you can see this tan wire right here. And uh, if your brakes fail, the, the shuttle will go too far one way or the other if you have brake failure. And then that applies a ground to this, this wire here, which goes over to, um, sorry about the camera work, but you can see the, the brown wire right here goes into the uh, firewall block. So what I noticed on the uh, American Auto Wire um, kit that I'm using was that the emergency brake tan wire and that's, that's that wire I was showing you that goes to the Dakota Digital. Now, if you had a regular OEM instrument panel, it would go to this brake light and let you know that you left your parking or your emergency brake on. And then I thought, well, I want to have both indications, like I was saying at the very beginning of this clip. I want to have an emergency brake indication light, but I also want to know if my brakes fail. Well, Dakota Digital only gives you one input. So what I discovered was on the American uh, Auto Wire kit is that they took this emergency brake tan and they also, it's tied behind the, the block to the proportioning brake switch that I just showed you inside the engine compartment. So that solved that problem. I didn't have to worry about trying to piggyback wires. Uh, American Auto Wire has already done that for me. So in this next clip, I'll show you how I verified that just to make sure that that's what they did. Okay, so here's this tan wire again that comes, uh, plugs into the switch on the back of your uh, emergency or parking brake. And I have one of my meter leads uh, plugged into that switch. Now, this is what gives you your ground. And I'll, we'll verify that, you know, I've got a complete circuit off of that ground wire up to the Dakota Digital. Okay, so I have my multimeter plugged into the uh, parking brake switch wire. And then we're gonna come up here and see if we, uh, we have continuity at the Dakota Digital. Make sure that we're gonna apply a ground to this uh, control module. So there's my meter. Come over here to the brown. Okay, so we know that the parking switch circuitry is good up to the Dakota Digital. Now let's verify that the proportioning, the brake failure light, is also tied into the circuit. Okay, so right now I'm coming off the tan wire, off the firewall, that goes over to the uh, brake proportioning connector. And you can see that we have continuity. And that is between the firewall and I'm gonna pull it off just to show you. So there, I just took the wire off. Now we have an open circuit. But once again, that, that is verifying that, that we have a complete circuit between these two wires up to the Dakota Digital. And we hope I'm making sense here. But anyway, so that, that proves out that the, um, that the brake proportioning uh, tan wire and the parking brake tan wire are tied together or a single input up to the Dakota Digital. So that way I will have a brake light if I have brake failure or if I forgot and left the parking brake on. Okay, so that's that circuit. And then we're gonna move on to the courtesy lighting, 
which is a little bit of a gaggle the way uh, American Auto Wire wired that one up. I think they uh, they kind of missed an opportunity to really clean that wiring up, although they did give you some extra stuff that's kind of nice. Okay, so what I'm getting ready to show you now is the uh, rear body connector. And um, that wiring there, um, that's what sends all the wiring to the rear uh, tail light section. And also included with this wiring is um, the dome lamp wiring. And if you just look at this diagram here, you're going to you're going to try to figure out, well, how did they get the dome light wiring uh, into this harness? But you'll drive yourself crazy trying to figure that out. But anyway, let me show you the connector underneath the dash down by the uh, parking brake pedal. And then we'll follow the wiring all the way back into the trunk. And then there's something I wanted to talk about back there, too. Okay, so that's the connector I was just showing you on the, uh, the block diagram. And uh, here's the other side of it that plugs in. And I don't know if you can see the harness, but that blue tape right there, where I put some extra sheathing on here and taped it up uh, through the clamp. And then it comes down through the, uh, the door seal, which I'll show you here in just a second. So that's this connector right here. And then I'll show you where it goes. Okay, so it comes down here through the door sill. And then it's got these factory clips right here. And that dome lighting I was talking about, how it ends up in, in the same harness that's really hard to decipher on the, uh, the diagrams. This is for your dome light. And that comes up here through these clips and ends up why I cry about there somewhere. Okay, so the harness continues to the rear, goes into the trunk through the, uh, the rear uh, package tray here, and then I'll show you the inside. Okay, so this is where it comes down through the, uh, the rear tray package. And that's my old harness I have laying in here just for reference. But uh, here's all the wiring, your fuel gauge, your parking, brake lights, backup lights, turn signals. And uh, all that's going to get wired up to the, the light housing here. Now, the thing that I was uh, kind of wondering about was what, what holds the... Uh, the cable on here underneath because according to the assembly manual that's where it gets routed and I couldn't find any clips anywhere underneath and uh, wiring harness kind of goes through the the trunk latch mechanism and there's the license plate sockets so anyway I was trying to figure out how they held the wires up underneath the uh, the trunk area here and I went back and checked all the the bag of parts I had and I found these um, I found these clips and these clips just snap into place over the trunk lid and then your your wiring goes right in here and the reason I discovered these was the factory put these clips in and then they painted the trunk because when you pop that clip off uh, you'll see that there's no paint underneath there so what the factory did was they, they put these clips on and then they painted the car. So anyway, that's how I, I, re I remembered or figured out what these clips were for. So if you don't have those clips, I don't know, you probably have to get a little bit creative on how you uh, take care of your wiring harness. So anyway, that's where we're at on the rear here. Now we're gonna talk about the courtesy lighting, which is a gaggle. Okay, so my Camaro did not come with uh, left and right hand uh, courtesy wiring, but it came with the, the kit, so I thought, well, we'll go ahead and put it in. And um, so here's your orange and white wire connector that runs down to the bulb socket. 
this this wire here is for your door jam switch. Why is this thing not focusing? Okay, there we go. Okay, so this thing here is uh, for the door jam switch, which fit, fits in this hole here, and this just plugs in, and that's how you get your ground. So all these white wires on the courtesy um, lighting, those are switched grounds, meaning the only time you're going to get a ground to complete the circuit through the power, which is orange, is either through a door jam switch or through your lighting switch. And so as you rotate your light switch, I forget which way, left or right, you'll switch that white wire, which comes off the, uh, the lighting harness right here. And that applies a ground to your courtesy. So the way your, your dome and your, your courtesy lights are gonna come on either through the door jam switches or through your lighting switch when you select it. And uh, this courtesy wiring harness, this is one area where American Auto Wire, I think, could have done a little better. They could have could have cleaned the routing and the, and the wiring up a little better, and I'm going to have to kind of straighten out this mess. But one other thing I will talk about before we get into this um, is their wiring diagram does not show both a left, a driver's side, or um, a right side harness. And they only show the right side. And I've looked over this thing. I've looked over every drawing they have. I've read all their stuff. They just don't show the, the driver's side. They only show, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's the other light over there. That's the only one they show. Now they do show on their uh, typical wiring diagram here, they show the, the dome courtesy, which was those two wires back there. So we got that. Now this is a console. This car did come with a console and it did come with console wiring, but I won't be running a console. So I'm probably gonna use this uh, console courtesy connector um, for either this left side or the right side. Anyway, I know this is getting a little bit confusing, but um, they do give you enough connectors to accomplish both left and right. Uh, courtesy lights and like I said one of these is probably this one here I think goes to the glove box which I cut off because I'm not going to be using a glove box light either so um that's the wiring for the glove box that I just showed you that I cut off so between all the connectors um, I do have enough to accomplish what I want but it's a little bit confusing. This is one area between the actual wiring that they did and uh, what they're showing you on the diagrams is, depending on how you're going to wire your car up, it's, it's going to be a little different. Anyway, I uh, hope I didn't get anybody too confused today. Um, after I get this stuff uh, all cleaned up and rerouted in the way I want it and get everything tucked up real nice, we'll probably do another video and I'll update you on what I actually did to clean up the mess. Okay, so this is one of the areas on their uh, their console courtesy connections that are dorked up. Um, shows you a picture, and that's that's this right here. And it says to figure out how to wire this harness up to go to location thirteen on page three of fifty one zero zero thirty three. So if you go over here to 510033, um, the only thing that shows a number 13 is the turn signal switch. And if you go over here and you look at 13, the write up, um, there's nothing on there about showing you how to wire this thing up. So, like I said, I'm not going to be using the console wiring anyway. I'm probably going to go ahead and wire it up. I'll splice into the other courtesy wiring somewhere that makes sense. And we'll just uh, wrap this up underneath the dash somewhere. So if somebody ever did want to run your console down the, uh, the tunnel here, 
the wiring is ready to go. And uh, here's the uh, courtesy lights that I was showing you earlier in the video. And um, like I said, they show a left hand and a right hand. And that's not exactly correct either. And then the rear body harness connector that I showed you very early on in the uh, video that runs down the door seal to the trunk. Um, they're showing a connector coming off of there. I couldn't find that connector either. Um, the only thing that comes off of that harness towards the rear that I could find was the dome light. So anyway, like I said, uh, the courtesy lighting on this kit, uh, it's a little squirrely. We'll get it all figured out. And like I said in an earlier clip, uh, once I get it all straightened out, get all the wiring cleaned up, uh, I'll show you guys uh, exactly what I did. Like I said, this is for the dome light. All right. Well, hopefully I didn't get everybody too confused. Um, <laughs> More just kind of sharing some of my frustrations and obstacles and what I need to do. Not exactly a step-by-step -step tutorial, but just kind of let you know what you're getting into. All right, Pete, North Las Vegas, over and out.